Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm pretty guys. Another episode of our Pixelmon series here on the Pocket Pixels Red server. What happened to this guy? He's having a rough day. If you guys are excited for Pixelmon, and I know you guys are, smash that like button down below. I've been having a blast playing on Pixelmon every single weekend. And it's Saturday today when I'm recording this, so we do have Ray's hidden ability spawns, which is very cool. We'll maybe find something cool. And they still have a really good deal going on where if you subscribe to VIP, you get a free legendary key. I think that's still going on. I'll plug it later in the video though for you guys. But let's not waste any time. Let's jump into red because we've got a lot to do today, including something so epic. I'm really excited and I'll tell you guys about it here in a second once I load in. And if we go to PP badges, we will see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven badges. What does that mean? It means that we are now taking on the eighth gym, which is the fairy dragon gym. That is our objective for today. Let's go see what the rules are. Okay, wow, I just warped to gym eight and it's crazy, bro. Look at this structure that we're at. I gotta go see what the rule board is. I'm assuming we have to be level 100 or at least close, maybe it's 95. But the final gym, guys, I'm very excited about it. It is 95 six V six. Dragon Fairy. This is gonna be so hard. Okay, so this is gonna be really tough. Uh, just looking at our PC, if I think of doing Fairy and Dragon, I have to think about like, what on my team is good against those typings, right? And and the answer is I don't really have a ton. I, I do think that Debbie is really solid in this, in this situation. I think Shutterfly is really worthwhile, so that gives me two solid Pokemon. I think Drillbird could be really good just because of the fact that he could be super strong. Uh, we don't have the Sand Rush one, we have a Sand Force variant. Um, otherwise, I could see potentially using Shrimp Pact. Uh, I think Fritter is always a solid bet just because he hits so hard. He can hit the Dragon type super effectively and then the Fairy types you could hit with, you know, just a, a Grass type move. So that's an option. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you know, uh, Jet is solid, but probably not the greatest. I could see Majora doing some work, maybe Bugs. We have some options, but I really feel like I need a Steel type. So we're gonna go try to find ourselves a Steel type that's not Drillbert. I think Drillbert is gonna be worth training up though. But I'm gonna do my first shiny hunt for this episode and we're gonna warp around and we're gonna see what we can find. I gotta figure out what's gonna be good though. But I think a steel type, a really good steel type can make all the difference in this battle. All right, so I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna start in this extreme hills and see if I have any luck here. Uh, I'm thinking like maybe like a Corviknight could be really good. The problem is we can assume that most dragon types are going to carry, wow, that was a lot of spawns. Most dragon types are going to carry a fire move. So just something to be mindful of, but we'll have to look around, see if we can find something good. I really need a good Pokemon because I think this gym is going to be a struggle. That's a fan piece. I think this gym is going to be a struggle otherwise, but a lot of good spawns. We'll see if any shinies pop up nicely for us. Hey, just found a random TM for Snore out here. That's kind of funny. And of course, if you guys ever want to play on the Pixelmon servers, you can play for free today. You guys just said to getpixelmon.com. That's going to be the install guide there. Uh, and then all you have to do is have the Java version of Minecraft. It legitimately takes like, you could set up in five minutes if you have Java Minecraft, it's really not that bad. And uh, you guys can play for free. Like I said, all of our servers are free to play on. We've got uh, a bunch of different servers. I play on the red server though. There's a figgy bear. I guess this place is kind of unexplored so far. Um, I play on the red server, but all the servers have some amazing things to offer. So feel free to hop on, enjoy your weekend with us. We do have a login event the day this video goes up at two o'clock Eastern time. But I'll be real, I'm gonna go out of the limb and say this video is probably gonna go up after the login event, so sorry. If it goes up before, make sure you guys log in for 2 p.m. Eastern. Otherwise, I'll try to see if we can get the, the team to do another login event soon. I think there might be a shiny over here because it didn't despawn, but I might be wrong. I'm gonna move over to a Savannah here. Uh, sometimes Savannahs have like Hone Edge that spawn at night, and Aegislash is one of the best Pokemon in the game, so we'll see if we can track something like that down. And there it is, it's a Shawnee Sandal is our Shawnee. Shawnee Sandal, which honestly isn't a terrible option. Um, I think, I think we'll be okay. Let me heal up. Not a bad bet. I mean, listen, it's not gonna be the best option we could have had, but it does have, um, I think I can super fang, but I'll just tackle to be safe. I got a critical hit. Oops. I <laughs> I really just did that? 
I really just got a crit? Tell me there's another shoddy up ahead without telling me there's another shoddy up ahead. Gosh darn it, it's not. I really just crit this shoddy sand dial, bro. Oh my god, and there's the hone edge I was looking for. A drive the shoddy destroyer here. Guys, I really didn't think that was gonna KO. I should have super fanged and oh, there's a Dreepy too. Dreepy's in a and hone edges, which is why I'm over in this location right now. I feel like I'm about to get wrecked now that I didn't just get that. I was so oh my gosh, guys. It had intimidate. I would have had a crocodile. I would have had a Pokemon that could have set up stealth rocks. Guys, leave a comment and take a moment to commemorate our fallen sand dial because I'm a complete noob and I totally just choked that. Oh my god, these spawns are amazing though. We got Skarmory's up ahead. We've got so many things and, and I just choked it. I really did just choke it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, team. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I just knocked that. I got a crit. I mean, if I don't crit him there, he lives, but... Uh, cause I was intimidated, man. Ah, it's so dumb. Ugh. All right, well, let's take some of the pain away with a new crate key. We've actually got the new Hoenn Alola collab crate. You guys love the Johto Kalos crate so much. So this one, wow. It's got Shawnee Trico, Mudkip, Torchic, Rowlet, Litten, Poplio. All these are Shawnees. And look at the percentages. You have like a 10% chance almost to get all of these. Bagon, Rockruff, uh, a different kind of Kecleon. Uh, Summer Raichu, Pukumuku, Shoddy Metagross, Shoddy Como, Special Mimikyu, Spe Shoddy Deoxys, Shoddy Necrozma, uh, Special Halloween Breloom, and then Solgaleo and Alter Rayquaza. Some amazing things. If you guys want to pick up some of these keys, you can go to shop.pocketpixels.net and you can head over to the features item section. We have a bunch of different stuff here, including the limited crates, the keys, and of course the VIP ring. You can see the Hoenn Alola collaboration crate right here. You can buy them in bundles or whatever works for you and test your luck like I'm about to do. And again, don't forget that we do have that VIP rank here. That VIP rank is a huge, huge, amazing bundle you can get for the Pixelmon servers. You can see from the VIP rank, you get all of these benefits. You get all these different commands that you can access. And this is a monthly kit, so you actually get Extra rare candies and Pokeballs and Great Balls and Master Balls and tokens and rare keys, mythic keys, all sorts of stuff every single month on our Pixelmon server. So head to shop.pocketpixels.net if you guys want to pick up any cool stuff and try your luck at the new crate. Let's see what we can get. All right, here we go. Big crate luck. Give me something good. No one knows I'm at the crates yet, but I feel like the crates are about to get very busy very soon. Let's test our luck here for this crate. I feel like I'm about to get a shiny starter. I get a shiny Trico to kick it off. A shiny Trico. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at it. And it has Overgrow and Modest Nature. Very good, actually. I've got plenty of keys, so let's see if I can get that uh, that Rayquaza. I really want to get that Ultra Rayquaza. That'd be pretty hype. And Alter Pukamuku, which I think is like a little sushi Muku. I think it's basically like a little sushi, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Are you a sushi? You are indeed. Look at him. <laughs> And Shoddy Litten, always a big one there. They don't have their hidden abilities, it looks like, but a nice Shoddy Litten. Oh, uh, uh. oh, I thought <laughs> I got so faked out, dude. I thought I was about to hit the Rayquaza, but I hit another Trico, man. Oh, I, I really thought that was about to be the one, team. This one might be the one, though. I got real so cool. <laughs> Again, dude. I bet I'm the only person on the server who's got two of these. I really, I've got to be the only person on the server who's got two of these, dude. There's no joke. This is one of the craziest things you can get. This is legitimately one of the craziest things you can get, and I've got two of them. Wow. Okay, there you can see my other Sogalio. I've now got two real Sogalios, which again, I don't, I don't even know how that's possible or legit, but I did it. So let's keep trying to see if I can get that uh, Rayquaza now. No way. Ah, oh. <laughs> I thought that was it. I got a shoddy Mudkip, y'all. I heard you like them Kips though. I heard you like them Kips. Not too shabby. Yo, this crate is being very constant right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of feeling it right now. Oh baby, I'm feeling it again. I got another <laughs> Sogali, yo, dude. What is going on? How? How do I have three, dude? It's a 2% chance and I have three of them. What are we doing right now? This one is huge. 
This one is huge. This is like one of the most coveted things on the server and I have three. How? How do I keep getting these, yo? This crate is so nice to me right now and I still got two keys. I'll take another Litten. I got two more tries, baby. If I pull another Solgaleo, I don't know what to tell you, but y'all gotta hit that like button if you haven't yet. We've already failed the shiny. <laughs> got two Solgaleos. <laughs> what an episode. This is a train wreck, guys. This is a train wreck. I can't wait for the gym battle. <laughs> Cause I'm sure it's gonna be just wonderful. There's another Mudkip and let's see what we got. Last key, I don't think we're getting another Solgaleo. I think we're gonna get a starter. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a starter. It looks looks like it. Uh, Rock Rock. Oh, I'll take a green Bagon. Not bad, not bad. Shiny Bagon, pretty clean. Let's go figure out. We got some good stuff though. We really did. We got a couple Mud Caves. Got a couple couple uh, Bagons. They, they don't have their hidden abilities uh, or anything like that, but I've got some training to do, my friends. We've got a gym battle in front of... <laughs> How do I have this thing? I don't understand. I have three, three of these guys. How guys, how does that happen? All right, I gotta figure out which six I'm bringing. I, I gotta bring Shutterfly, I gotta bring Debbie. I think Drillbert, I think we bring Drillbert. I think I max out Drillbert and his attack and his speed and he's just he's just gonna be solid. Maybe I have an ability token and I can give him Mold Breaker so he can ignore abilities. I feel like he's gonna be really strong, especially against the fairy types. He resists dragon type moves. I think he's gonna be really strong. From there, we have tough decisions to make. I, I, I gotta figure out three other members of the team that I think are gonna be good here. I think Shrimp Act has a potential to be good. It has Ice Beam, could be really strong. U-Turn, also solid, could be really strong. A lot of Dragon types have dual typing, so Shrimp Act is looking like it might be pretty solid there. Other than that, I feel like, you know, um, I, 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 I could see, I could see something like Fritter just because. Fritter, if it sets up a Dragon Dance against the right thing, it can be really strong. I don't know if that's feasible though, because of his, he's pretty frail. So I'm not necessarily convinced. Bugs is really good. Um, can't have its uh, ability, but uh, can't have uh, Libero rather, but does get some options. So we could consider that. I gotta see if I can use Megas actually. Let me see if I can use Megas. Okay, so I can use one Legend or Mega from a selected list. So I need to go check the forum and do, uh, I need to see the full list of legends and megas that I can use. Oh, I couldn't use Aegislash or Dragapult either way, so I guess that doesn't really matter. And I can't use Hidden Ability, Cinderace, but I can use a legend or a mega. So I need to see what can I actually use, because I have a Gengar, and we might be able to use uh, Gengarite, and Sludge Wave Icy Wind could be solid. Gengar is really strong. That's probably our best bet. Do I even have any other mega options? My other, it would be, it would be you basically. Do I have anything else that Mega Evolves? Not that I'm thinking. I think it's probably Rick Gasly is our best bet. I could, I don't know how I just flew all the way up here. I could probably get a Gengar, but I need to see that list of which Megas I can use. So let me look that up. All right, so unfortunately Mega Gengar is actually not allowed. Um, it's probably still worth being on the team though, just cause it can hit fairy type super effectively with a uh, Sludge Wave. So I think that these five are probably on the team and then I gotta figure out what my sixth is gonna be. Uh, feeling like Stealth Rocks with Nugget is probably worthwhile just because of a lot of Dragon types potentially having, um, having moves that, uh, or being Flying type really. So, this is the six I'm gonna rock with for the gym. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I need to train up Drillbert, get him EV trained. I think everyone else is EV trained. It's just a matter of getting the right move sets and stuff. So let's get to a train in. I'm gonna head back to my house and get everything ready and then we're gonna try to beat the gym, but it is gonna be very hard. All right, I'm gonna evolve little Drillbird here, and he's gonna evolve right away, so he will turn into a beautiful Excadrill here shortly, and we will be able to see him in all his glory. Look, look at him getting all big and stuff, he's kind of funny. Actually, the Excadrill might be good for us. <clears throat> might be really good for us, so, um, I'm thinking about it, maybe this is my lead. Maybe I lead with this thing, and it has Stealth Rock. I'm not sure, but I've gotta get him all the way up to 95, so let's do that. Just this guy right here. Nice guy. He just hooked me up with a bunch of rare candies. Thanks, bro. All right, team. I'm gonna be real with you. This is gonna be a rough one. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with uh, with this guy. Try to get up Stealth Rocks. We've got, I think Debbie is key. I got Cosmic Power and Calm Mind now. I don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, I think if Shutterfly can set up, that could be really good. We've got this guy here, which can hit hard with Ice Beam, Water Ball, or Water Pulse rather. I've got Destiny Bond and Sludge Bomb, of course. Shadow Ball hits pretty hard. We've got Earthquake, Iron Head, Rapid Spin, Rock Slide, very solid as well. Rapid Spin has Stealth Rocks, or um, has, uh, whatchamacallit, Focus Sash as well. So, worth considering. I mean, I definitely want, I'm gonna keep the Heavy Duty Boots on Shutterfly. 
Um, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm, I don't have a mega evolution. We're definitely down. This is very difficult. Dragon and, and fairy is no joke. But let's head over there. We're gonna warp to gym eight and try to take on the last gym. See if we have any luck. Like I said, this is gonna be a rough one. Let me make sure everyone's healed up. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. We have a decent team, we really do, but it's gonna be so hard. So let's join the queue and let's see if we can beat it. All right, I got my team loaded up. We're gonna click Stealth Rocks and see what happens. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Gonna lead along with a Clef Key, which is definitely a hazard setter. I can rapid spin all day on this thing. I'm just gonna straight up. Yeah, I gotta get Stealth Rocks up. He's gonna Magnet Rise, so he just does that right out the gates. I'll get up Stealth Rocks, which is fine. Um, the good news here is I can immediately go into Drill Burr and I can rapid spin any spikes away, but it's probably gonna set up screens. There's the spikes, okay. Uh, rapid spin does boost your speed in this game, and I don't think Clefki is gonna be able to do too much to me, and I can obviously go for big iron heads, which are neutral, but still do a lot of damage. There's a switch out and a Garchomp. I'm gonna get a rapid spin off and do a lot of damage to Garchomp, and I can actually just go for the iron head and hope I flinch, so. And I still have my focus sash, so I should be able to live any hit, and there's no hazard, so. I might be able to get a nice early lead here against this Garchomp with uh, with an Iron Head. Uh, I do get an Iron Head, a big flinch here would be huge. I don't get the flinch, he does get an Earthquake off, that's fine. I think my play here is just Earthquake. No sense in taking any chances, we should knock him out with Earthquake here. So Focus Sash Drillbert coming in handy there. But I do have a speed boost, so I should be able to get rid of Garchomp, and then like I said, hopefully hit something really hard here. And we know that Klefki's one of the mons that we gotta deal with. Stealth Rocks are up, so we'll see if they predict the Iron Head switch out. I, I, my guess is you just stay in here and let your Garchomp go down. And the Earthquake does come off, and I do knock out the Garchomp. So, good start for us. We got rid of one of the biggest menaces on the team. So, here comes the Altaria. This thing is most certainly going to be trying to, you know, Mega Evolve. Um, I obviously can hit it super effectively, so I think we just Iron Head. And as long as it doesn't Dragon Dance against us, we should be good. And actually, I probably outspeed anyway. Uh, maybe. Maybe I do. So... I don't know if Dragon Dance is a play. Uh, Iron Head does come off, does not Mega Evolve. A flinch would be huge. I get the flinch! Massive flinch! Oh my god, my opponent chooses to not Mega Evolve in hopes of being able to live the Iron Head. Iron Head comes off from Drillbert. Rapid Spin Drillbert putting out a clinic right now. Here comes Klefki, which does have Magnet Rise. It has to Magnet Rise here. I'm going to Iron Head, just in case it Magnet Rises. It does have Prankster, so it would Magnet Rise first. This could be massive setup fodder for Frostmoth. I'm gonna be real. Iron Head is 1 million percent my play. A flinch would be huge. It does not electromagnetic. He does go for foul play. Okay, I can set up all over this. We've seen two of its moves, three of its moves. Foul play is one of them. Um, the play here is we go Rick Gasly. I think we go Rick Gasly and I just knock him out with a Shadow Ball and save kind of my bulk for later. I think that's what we do. So let's come in here. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. So this, he's gonna Thunder Wave me, does get the para off, I do hit the Shadow Ball, so a little bit of a, a misstep there on my part, because now I kind of just wasted my Gengar. So I basically just click Sludge Bomb and hope he doesn't knock me out, but he's obviously just gonna Outrage. But he can't, Debbie comes in! Debbie comes in for free! Debbie comes in for free, I, I feel like I just Cosmic Power. Boost both my defenses. He can't Outrage me! He's gonna let me Cosmic Power in his face! Oh, baby! I'm gonna Cosmic Power twice. Oh, he's got Poison Jab. He's got Poison Jab. I'm gonna Moon Blast. I have to take a Poison Jab to the face. We take it. I get a Moon Blast off. He got really lucky uh, that he snapped out of that outrage. I probably shouldn't have done twice there. Here comes the Clefable. I have two Cosmic Powers. Is there... Do I lose the Clefable here? I think I have to just stay in and just call mine. He's gonna Cosmic Power as well. I'm gonna Moon Blast. He's gonna Cosmic Power. Uh, this might just be... I get a special attack drop. This is gonna be really bad. I don't know. He's got Minimize? Is that really what we're doing? Is that really what we're doing? We're using Minimize, dude? We're really gonna use... That is, that is like... That is like the cheapest thing. I, I can't believe you're actually doing that. I can't believe he's actually using Minimize. I wonder if this is unaware Clefable. I really can't believe he's using Minimize. That's disgusting. If I lose this gym battle because the gym leader used Minimize, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little salt. I'm gonna be a little salt, I'm not gonna lie. That's what they're doing. That's actually what they're doing. They're legitimately gonna click Minimize. Cosmic Power again. I have to crit a Moon Blast basically to have a chance at this. Um, I think I'm plus six. So I have to just crit Moon Blast. Um, all right, we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? All right, well guys, I have some bad news. Uh, we basically have to see how this plays out as a struggle war because my opponent, uh, I can't hit him and I'm gonna run out of Moonblast. 
Uh, I'm gonna actually speak to the uh, owner of the server and I'm going to discuss the potential of having minimize removed from gym battles. I don't feel that this is fair to anybody, myself included. If I take the L on this battle, I'll take the L on the battle. It is what it is. I'll battle him again at some point. But there's no reason why we should be having minimize in any of these gym battles or double team or any of that stuff. That is not a, a game of skill. That is not a game of fun. Uh, it, it is not it is not something that I think should be done on our gym battles. And I understand it's a move. Like, I get it's a legit move. But how can there be all these rules in place where I can't use choice items, I can't use specific megas, and all this stuff, but then we allow minimize? I, I just I just don't think that that should be allowed. So we'll see if I win this battle, but I'm expecting to lose the gym at this point. And I'm officially uh, 10 turns away from struggling at this point. I only have uh, nine softballs left. So yeah, we'll just let's just lose the battle, I guess. All right, guys, only way we win this at this point, my, my battle actually glitched out anyway, is I have to freeze an ice beam and then proceed to hit him like a dozen times. So we're just gonna call this a game. Uh, I don't know if I can just end. Um, my my Pixamon just glitched out anyway after this long battle. And I forfeited the battle. So I'll take the loss on that one, guys. Unfortunately, I've got a couple things I'm gonna say in the chat and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, well, we'll have to try our, our luck next time, guys. Um, so if you have any ideas, let me know. We'll shiny hunt on the next episode, try to grab something. Otherwise, have some fun. Try out that new crate if you want to test your luck. I got those cool Solgaleos. That's pretty sweet. And uh, like I said, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. New Pixelmon episodes every Friday or Saturday. Usually I upload them. And have fun playing on the Pixelmon server. Go to getpixelmon.com, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.